Sam folded over some little squares of paper he took from the librarian's desk to make the pages. Then he found a pencil that had rolled underneath a shelf, and he began to write. Write what you know, Sam read in a book about writing, so Sam wrote about being a mouse. He drew pictures for his book by posing in his little mirror and then sketching what he saw. It says, Every mouse has a family. Father, there he is writing, and drew a picture that matched the words. There, he's looking at himself in a mirror so that he can draw himself. Sam worked very, very hard, and finally his first book was done. He called it Squeak, A Mouse's Life, and he wrote on the cover, Words and Pictures by Sam. He went to the biography slash autobiography section of the library, and he tucked his first book onto the shelf. Then he went back to his little hole in the wall and waited. There he is. Oh, and he drew a picture of himself. See, he has a red shirt and the pants. Words and pictures. So that means he is the author and the illustrator. The author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. The next afternoon, sunlight streamed in through the library windows. What is this? asked a girl whose teacher had sent her to the library to do a book report. I've never seen anything like this before, said the librarian, and she put Squeak, A Mouse's Life, on her desk. Later, she showed it to the other librarians. Sam decided to write another book. It was called The Lonely Cheese. And working on the book made him feel very hungry. It was a good thing that he always found so many crumbs to eat by the trash basket in the hallway. When he had finished the illustrations, illustrations, tell someone in the room, what does illustrations mean? Illustrations mean, did you say pictures? Nice job. When he had finished the illustration, Sam scurried to the picture book section and proudly placed his latest book on the shelf. Then he went back to his little hole in the wall and waited. The Lonely Cheese by Sam. The Lonely Cheese. The next morning, sunlight streamed through the library windows. What is this? asked the little boy who was looking for a big book about trucks. It's another book by Sam, said the librarian. Just who is this Sam? she thought to herself and put the lonely cheese on her desk. Later, she showed it to the children at story time. Kindergarten friends, I'm gonna show you a book you'll read in first grade. But I wanted to show you different types of writing that you can do because Sam the Mouse wrote a fiction book and he wrote an autobiography. Remember an autobiography? It's a book about yourself. So you can write book reports, you can do cards, write directions. When you get older, you can write essays, stories. You can do greeting cards, poems, or haikus, invitations, journaling about something you like, to tell someone a positive thing, or to write a letter to someone who lives far away, for passwords and usernames for computers. Sam the Mouse practices different types of writing. What's one way you have seen writing used? Have you seen someone make a list? Have you used computer login information? Tell your teacher 
One way you've seen writing used.